Hello everyone! Recently I was able to complete my collection of weapon tunings as you can see right here and I thought you guys might like to see all the weapon tunings in the game. Weapon tunings are basically items that you can add to your lightsabers, your guns, any of your weapons to enhance them a little bit. It's very cosmetic, it's just for looks. They give different effects to the lightsaber hilts or the barrel of your gun. These are all cosmetic cartel market items so if you want to get them you can either check the cartel market or you're better off checking the GTN. Some of these are very expensive and some are not too bad, something you have to save up for. They aren't very cheap either. When I was looking for them originally, they ranged between 7 million to 64 million, so it really depends on their cosmetic look, like how much people like them, and how rare they are, and how recently they've been available. So let's show you the first one that I have here. This is the Indigo Fog Weapon Tuning. It was originally available from the Precious Cartel uh, Precious Cargo Cartel Pack, and I actually haven't seen a lot of these, so I'm going to be seeing them with you for the first time. What's this one do? So this one is giving a very light halo effect here, and I've just got no crystal, default yellow crystal. Let's see if it gets any more obvious with a red crystal in there. It's a very subtle effect. It's got that kind of glow going on. It's a little bit purpley. It's not a very heavy-handed effect. So let's try out the next one. This is the Technolith Matrix tuning. I've actually seen a friend with this one. You can't see it very well with a red saber, but if you take a look on the hilt of this saber, it's got a cool effect to it. Let's throw in a blue crystal so you can see that better. There we go. So you've got the red contrasting. It's kind of kind of a, a technology looking look. It's got symbols or something. And this one is originally from the Warbound Crusaders pack. So this one I've seen kicking around on the fleet and stuff like this. This is the damaged weapon tuning. And it is originally from the Revenge pack. And this one's a pretty neat effect. Um, as you can see, it not only does it have kind of a lava effect on the hilt, as if it's on fire on the inside, it also has sparks and little flashes of fire. So this is great for anyone who wants to have something uh, not quite so pristine and light sidey or glowy, <laughs> something a little more interesting. That one's cool. I don't know what kind of character you'd use it on though. Okay, this is the laser weapon tuning. I know this works well in guns. On lightsabers, I'm not sure it's having any effect at all. Do I see any laser beams coming out from my lightsaber? No. But on a gun, this one's really cool. Oh, I didn't even apply it. That could be half the issue right there. Still no giant laser beams. It's okay. It makes a laser pointer effect coming out from the barrel of your gun. It's especially cool if you have a gun that already has a laser beam coming out of it, because then you get double lasers. What? bought on a lightsaber it would make no sense so you don't have to worry about it this one is the repair droid weapon tuning it is from the spoils of war pack oh my gosh isn't that cute it's just a little droid that floats around your weapon gives it a little zap now and then <laughs> that's really fun that would be really cool for anyone who's um role playing as an engineer or a droid master or anything like that it's also Imperial colors, so might be good for an Imperial too. This is the Gemini Weapon Tuning. It is originally from the Gemini pack, shocking. It's kind of got a flashy white effect. Let's see if that changes color with our lightsaber crystal. No, it's just a bright white flashy light right there. Nothing too interesting going on. Oh, this one I'm excited for. This is the Rackle Infection Weapon Tuning, obviously based on the Rackle event. It is originally from the Scavenger Pack, and it is very well animated. It makes nasty green lines appear on your lightsaber as if there's something corrupted going on inside it. It has green smoke, uh, kind of like smelly looking stuff coming out from it, and it also drips green nasty drips off your lightsaber. This one would probably go better with a yellow or green or blue crystal rather than being very scary looking Christmas colors. There we go. That's gross. All right, let's check out the next one. 
This is the lightning weapon tuning. I can't remember, but I think this might have been the first one that was introduced. It is from the Plunderer pack. And as you can see, it's making lightning crackle from my lightsaber's hilt. Let's see if this changes with the color. Oh, yes, it does change with the color. This would look awesome with a purple lightsaber to go with like a Sith Inquisitor's purple lightning. Actually, it goes good with really any color. Ah, come here. Volatile weapon tuning. This is originally from the Dread Warlord pack. Whoa, that one's a little, a little bit of everything. Oh my gosh. So you've got a spark of bluish li white lightning going down your lightsaber. It's got a kind of flashy thing going on at the hilt that's a uh, bright white and sometimes the color of my saber. I don't know. This one's just a, there's a lot going on. A lot going on for the volatile weapon tuning. This is the Galactic Command Tuning, and it is originally from the Eternal Command Pack. And this one, eh, it kind of looks cool. Let's throw, a, let's throw a blue lightsaber in there. There we go, matches a little better. It's kind of got, I guess, a laser sight? I don't know what you'd call it. I guess a HUD, heads-up display. I, I, it doesn't make a lot of sense for a lightsaber. It looks kind of techno and cool. On a gun, it looks especially neat, and I've been wanting to put this in my gun for quite a while on my trooper. Unfortunately, not all weapons, especially older ones, do not have a tuning slot, so you need to find a weapon with a tuning slot before you are even able to use one of these. I had a hard time finding one because the I was going to use the lightsaber that you get, that you build as a Jedi. That one did not have a tuning in it, surprisingly. This is the strap attachment tuning. This is one of the less sparkly ones, but one of the more interesting ones. It will add a strap to your weapon while it is wielded. I'm not sure if it stays on. Let's see. Is it still there? Oh, that's cool. It stays on even when you holster your weapon. That's neat. This would be cool for someone who's looking to add something different to their weapon, make it a little more unique without adding flashy, sparkly things to it. And that was originally from the Stalwart Leader Pack. This is the Overcharged Weapon Tuning, originally from the Battler Cartel Pack. Oh! -ho! So this one is kind of got glowy fire that seems to be the color of my lightsaber. Probably changes color with my lightsaber crystal. Let's test that out. Yes. Yes, it does. So it's got sparks coming off it, and it's got some fire magic-y stuff going on at the bottom of the hilt there. So this is the Riot Control Weapon Tuning. It's from the Oppressor Pack. It's kind of neat. Kind of got a lightning effect just going on near the hilt instead of the entire saber. Kind of crackly lightning there. It's kind of a neat effect. And so here are a couple of the more rare, uh, less available ones, I guess you could say. They are the dark attuned weapon tuning, the light attuned weapon tuning, and the festive weapon tuning. So let's show off the light one first off. This one is kind of blue glowy fire. It does not change color with your lightsaber. It's specifically meant to be representative of the light side. It's kind of blue magic -y effect. Not quite fire, I guess you could say. It interacts really nicely with your lightsaber color though. As you can see, uh, I have a red saber. It's a blue tuning. Kind of makes purple along the way sometimes. This one was available from the Dark vs. Light event that is long retired and from the Dark vs. Light pack itself. Apparently. And then there's also the red version, which is the dark tuned. And let's drop a blue crystal in here so you can see it better. And there we go. Same thing, but with the red. These are, I think both of these would be really good for anyone who's specifically dark side or light side, especially on a, a Jedi or a Sith character. Very cool. The red one I think would look really nice with purple once again. Looks pretty cool with the blue, actually. 
I will just leave the blue in there and we'll show off the last tuning. This is the festive weapon tuning and it is just a sparkly happy little firework right there. It is originally from a uh, Christmas pack, a uh, life day pack, I guess you could say a holiday pack that you could buy. And there you go. That is all the weapon tunings currently available in the game. If you're interested in one, just make sure you have a weapon that can actually hold a tuning and save up your credits and hit the GTN. See you later.